really grinds my gears and boils my core when I see influencers making videos such as why I left LA, LA is toxic, LA is so superficial, I hate LA, LA is the worst place to live, don't live in LA, blah 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 blah. And it's always coming from influencers who literally move to LA, live here for two years, are immediately indulged into the influencer clout chasing, Los Angeles lifestyle, and it's the same people who never grew up in LA and didn't have a childhood in LA who talk shit about it, and it just, it really makes me mad because I feel like every video that I see about LA is always talking shit about it, and it's like, you're not even from here, how dare you, and it just, I'm here to talk about it. Hi guys, my name is Gina Ponev. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me. I'm just gonna jump right into it. This video is honestly made for influencers as well as people who want to move to LA because I feel like anytime an influencer exposes LA or talks about their side of LA, it's not reality. It's Reality when you are an influencer or when you are trying to live that lifestyle, trying to be that certain way. It really upsets me when people say that everyone in LA is so toxic and fake and superficial. And although that is true, there are plenty of people who are fake, toxic, and superficial. It really, at the end of the day, depends on who you submerge yourself with, who you allow influence you, who you hang out with, who you spend time with. And if you're bringing those people into your life, at the end of the day, that's on you. And a lot of people say, oh, LA changes you. And LA only changes you if you allow it to change you. I just wanted to talk about it because although everyone is entitled to their own opinion, everyone has their own truth, everyone has their own side to the story, this is my truth and this is my opinion and this is coming from someone who grew up in LA, who was born in LA, who was raised in LA, and I would like to argue that I think LA is the best city in the world, in the universe. I think there's so much to do here and so many amazing people But it's just so saturated with people constantly trying to bring it down and it's really really Upsetting so I actually just want to start off talking about like the cons of being in LA Let's first talk about losing yourself and trying to be the perfect LA person When you think of LA when I think of LA I immediately think palm trees Hollywood wealth and beautiful people. And although this exists all over LA, that's not all of LA. That is a very small portion of people in the entertainment industry. I feel like one of the main issues in LA, realistically, is everyone wants to be the perfect Los Angeles person. Everyone wants to be the most beautiful, so everyone does plastic surgery. Everyone wants to be the wealthiest, so they do whatever it takes. Use whoever it takes. Manipulate people. Use people. Step all over people. That definitely does happen. There's clout chasers, there's users, there are manipulators, and there's a huge, huge, huge obsession with body image and being the most beautiful, the most gorgeous, and sometimes when you look at people from LA, specifically in places like Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, everyone is gorgeous, but also has a lot of work done, and it's constant obsession to be this persona, this unrealistic expectation these unrealistic beauty standards that literally just don't exist in reality. And I think it's really toxic, especially when it comes to social media, because a lot of people, a lot of young people look at these influencers, look at all of these gorgeous, beautiful Los Angeles people, and they're like, wow, why don't I look like that? And at the end of the day, you don't look like that because people like that don't exist. People pay to look like that. People pay to get work done. That aspect of LA, it happens, but it doesn't happen as often as you think it does. Every video I see on YouTube when influencers are bashing LA and saying, oh, everyone here is superficial, everyone here is fake. I wanna come at you and say, why are you hanging out with fake superficial people? I grew up in Los Angeles, California, specifically in Venice, California, and I'm just so grateful for everything I've been able to experience for my childhood. I grew up by the beach. I'm literally right on the beach. I 
I drive an hour, I'm at the mountains. I drive an hour, I'm at the desert. I drive an hour, I'm in the valley. I drive an hour, I'm in downtown. I have literally the best of all worlds and all worlds collide when you come to Los Angeles and you're able to experience so much and it's so beautiful. I don't want people to stray away from living in LA because they constantly see people saying, well, oh, people are clout chasers, people are fake, people are toxic. That exists, but it exists in a very small proportion of people and it exists in those people that want that fame, want that clout, want that obsessive constant fame and that subscriber count and that doesn't exist amongst everyone. Like I have the most amazing solid friend group who I am so thankful for, who support me and care about me. And if you don't wanna be around toxic fake people, just don't hang out with fake toxic people. Influencers make it seem like it's so difficult to not go into that crowd, but it really isn't difficult because when you're an influencer, you just want more fame, more money, more power. How do you get more fame, more money, more power? By knowing more people. When you know more people, you increase the stakes of you having fame and power. But with that comes a lot and a lot of responsibility and downfalls because a lot of these people with a lot of money and a lot of power tend to be mean, disrespectful, rude. I'm Again, I wanna make sure to preface that I'm not calling every single rich celebrity out there. This obviously isn't everyone. This is just a large proportion of influencers, especially influencers who are constantly making videos like why I left LA. LA is so superficial and toxic. Everyone here is so fake and you're just hanging out with fake people. I'm sorry, but like, that's unfortunately the reality. You're hanging out with fake people and that's why you're probably changing because you're turning into a fake person. It's always influencers who move from other states or other countries and live in LA for two years that are immediately bashing on it and saying all these terrible things about how LA is terrible. Like, Los Angeles is a city. A city can't be toxic. It's the people you surround yourself with that's most important. And I just want to really, really strongly emphasize that the people you surround yourself with are the people who are going to influence you the most and make you the person you are and if you're constantly getting degraded and humiliated by these negative people you just need to find a new friend group I'm sorry but it's you can't blame LA for other people's actions. It's like blaming religion for killing a bunch of people or starting war, you know? Like you can't blame these things because of the way that you're behaving and the way that you're reacting as well as how other people are reacting towards you. Let's talk about another huge problem in LA, the homeless population. We in Los Angeles have a really, really big problem with homelessness as well as the wage gap between people. You have people in LA who are literally living from paycheck to paycheck, barely getting by, barely surviving. And then you have people at the very top who just throw money away like it's nothing and waste it like it's nothing, spending thousand dollar dinners. It's a problem. And also we have a huge problem with gentrification in Los Angeles, specifically in California. I'm a criminology major. I've said this in many videos and we in California specifically have a problem with the way we treat certain people in certain groups. For example, if we're discussing poorer neighborhoods like the ghetto, people are gonna forever be stuck in the ghetto and be stuck in that constant lifestyle because first of all, there's no grocery stores in the ghetto. It's usually only liquor stores. Schools don't have as much funding, so you're not getting as good of an education. There's barely any colleges. No one cleans the ghetto, so it's filthy. There's high crime and over policing, and it's this never ending cycle that people are being put in forcibly by the government because the government is making it really easy and really accessible for people who don't live in the slums and who don't live in the ghetto and who are privileged enough to be able to get an education, be able to live in cities where it's cleaner and safer. And for those people who are unable to afford that and are unable to live that lifestyle and be educated, they will forever be stuck because they don't know better. Does that make sense? If if you guys want to know more about that, it's a whole there's a whole theory on it. It's the Chicago school. Oh, let me tell you right now what exactly what it is. The Chicago school, it's like social learning theory and the ecology of crime, social disorganization theory. If you guys want to know more about the Chicago school in deviance and criminology, I will gladly make a whole video about it and I will gladly make a whole video as to why some people are stuck in this never-ending cycle and why some people will always be at the top and be number 1. 
on and why the top 1% rules the whole world and why 99% of the population is struggling and in poverty. If that's something that interests you, I would love to make a video about it. It's what I dedicated my whole studies to and I find it really interesting and a lot of people are uneducated by it and it's really unfortunate and it's something that everyone should be aware of so that we can all help each other and I'm just kind of going off topic but yeah if you guys want a video on that let me know drug addiction <laughs> there is a huge drug problem in Los Angeles drugs are so easily accessible it's honestly kind of funny. That's all I really have to say, like drugs are just incredibly easy to find and unfortunately if you are a person of color accessing drugs, the chances of you going to prison are very likely and if you are a white privileged person purchasing drugs, you're probably not going to get caught and you're probably not going to go to prison and if you do go to prison, you'll probably get bailed. This one, guys, this makes me so mad. I don't know if this is just a Los Angeles thing or a California thing, but the hookup culture. I hate hookup culture. I hate it so much. It makes me so angry. I mean, if you if you want to engage in hookup culture, good for you. Thrive, live your best life. No shame whatsoever. That's literally not what I'm saying. This is just my personal opinion. I personally, I hate hookup culture because anytime I hook up with someone and I think it could potentially go somewhere and it doesn't, and then I just feel dirty after hooking up with them and then I regret it. And then it's this constant cycle of finding a new person, either going on a date, grabbing drinks, or just hanging out at their house, hooking up, and then goodbye, we part ways. Like, nobody in LA wants to be in a relationship. Nobody in LA wants to find love or be in love or find a soulmate or be with the person they love. Everyone is so obsessed with hooking up with everyone and having as high of a body count as possible. And sure, like, it's fun to have fun. I totally agree. But I just, not to go on like an own, my own like personal ramp, but I want a boyfriend. I'm over being single. I'm over hooking up with random people and I just want to be in a relationship. I want to be in love. I've never been in love and I just want to find my soulmate already and I feel like nobody in LA wants that. Nobody in LA wants to find their person or the one. Everyone just wants to hook up with everyone and it's a little sad. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like those are the main negatives about Los Angeles. Kind of fake, toxic, superficial people, except it's a very small percentage and a very small proportion of people, and it's mainly influencers and very rich, entitled, privileged people. The homelessness, the trash, there's a lot of trash on the ground. Throw your trash away! I'm the type of person where if I see someone throw trash on the floor, I will literally call them out. I do not care who you are. I do not care how big you are. I don't care if you can fight me or kill me. I will call you out because mother nature deserves better than that, baby. Stop throwing your trash on the floor. Animals eat that shit and then die because of you. So pick your trash up and also pick up other people's trash. Sometimes if I feel like being a good person, I will pick up trash off the floor and throw it away because I am a good human being. And once a month, which me and my friends should start doing more, me and my friends always do a beach cleanup at, we used to do it every week, but it's we haven't done it in a while, so I guess like once a month. But we usually go once a week and do a beach cleanup, and it's amazing, and it's fun, and we each, there's usually three or four of us, we each get a huge garbage bag full of trash from just one day, about an hour out of our day, we do this beach cleanup. And if you guys are actually in the Los Angeles, California area, and you're interested in doing beach cleanup with us, well, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll actually make it a thing, and I'll post about it on my Instagram, and then we'll do, we'll set up like a cute little beach cleanup sunset thing. And then on Mondays, on the Venice Boardwalk, there's usually a silent disco, so we can do like a little beach cleanup together. Um, obviously six feet, socially distanced. And then afterwards, we can socially distance and do a silent disco on the beach, which is a lot of fun. And I still haven't done the silent disco, but it's something definitely on my bucket list. And that'll be fun, and we should do it. And why I think LA is the best city in the world is because, first of all, the beach. Surfing, swimming, the sand tanning, I meditate at the beach, I cry at the beach, I laugh at the beach, all my favorite memories are at the beach. I love the beach. How can you not love the beach? It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's great. The mountains, hiking, there's so many hikes here, it's insane. I still haven't done all of them. And 
the weather. The weather here is absolutely amazing. It's always nice and sunny and beautiful. And when it's not, it's very rarely raining. And even though I love the rain, it sometimes does rain. And if I want to drive to the snow, I drive an hour and a half to Big Bear or Mammoth and I'm in the snow and I can go skiing or snowboarding. The boardwalk. I live in Venice and I think Venice, I think Venice specifically is the best city in the world. Even though a lot of people will disagree with me because homeless people and it's dirty and people think it's gross and nasty and everyone's afraid of Venice and if you look on Yelp Venice literally has the worst reviews from tourists saying how afraid they were to walk on the boardwalk and how filthy it was and it really isn't I don't know Venice just has such a special place in my heart and it's such a community if you're from Venice and you live in Venice you know everyone in Venice and I feel like everyone in Venice has each other's backs I work on the Venice boardwalk and I know almost every single homeless person on the boardwalk and we're all homies and I know for a fact that if anyone ever tried to attack me for whatever reason even though that's probably not gonna happen. But if anyone ever did try to attack me and one of the homeless people or the Venice locals would pass by, they would completely 100% be on my side immediately fighting for me. And just that sense of community and that sense of family, I just love it so much and I'm so thankful to have it. And I'm honestly so grateful and thankful to have a childhood in Los Angeles. I feel like I had such a unique com experience compared to so many people in the world. I feel like there's just so much to do in Los Angeles and so much fun to be had. There's so many memories to be made and so many adventures and traveling. And I just came back from a little road trip that I did with my friend Alex for a couple days. We went to Bombay Beach and we went to Slob City and we went to Palm Springs. And that was a two hour drive away from us. And we got to see the craziest things. And there's so much art and graffiti. And LA is just so beautiful and amazing. And it really just makes me angry when people bash it because it's the people, it's not LA. LA and it's not just the people either it's not even a majority of people in Los Angeles it's it's a very small proportion of Los Angeles but it's because that small proportion of people have power on social media and are constantly saying all these terrible things about LA everyone's like ah fuck LA LA's trash LA's terrible that's not true Ugh, just makes me mad man oh yeah but LA's not toxic you are, baby. So make sure to come visit LA. Make sure to come visit me on the Venice Boardwalk. We'll have so much fun. I'll give you a little tour. Don't be afraid to move to LA. Don't let these people and these influencers get into your head because it's all bullshit. Surround yourself with people who will love you. Surround yourself with people who will give you 100%. You give them 100%, they give you 110%. You make LA what it is. You make LA what it is. If you're surrounding yourself with negative toxic people, if you're surrounding yourself with people you don't like and people who have superficial values, leave. You don't need that. You don't need that lifestyle. It's not a, no need for that. Also, I forgot to mention a very important thing. LA is stupid expensive. It is expensive as fuck to live here. It is so, 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 so expensive. So expensive. So make sure to get your priorities straight. Make sure to be financially stable. Make sure to figure out what it is that you want. There's so many opportunities here in LA. There's so many amazing things you can see. So many opportunities. Just go for it. Fuck everything that anyone else has to say. I hope you enjoyed this little LA rant of mine. This video, I guess, is kind of all over the place, but I just feel like it really had to be made because it drives me insane when influencers post YouTube videos talking about how terrible LA is because LA's not terrible, you're just terrible. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to comment. Let me know your opinions, be honest. If you hate me and if you hate everything that I said in this video, let me know and just let me know because why not? Make sure to subscribe, make sure to watch all my videos and stay tuned so you can make my dreams and my hopes my reality. I wanna be an influencer, like I, I do wanna be an influencer, but you know how everyone's like, oh, LA changes you and being a celebrity changes you. I really feel like it won't change. I know everyone says that and then they change, but I really feel like I won't change because I did grow up in LA and it's different 
than moving to LA. I don't know, I'm just kind of going on a random tangent, but anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing, beautiful day, and also make sure to stay tuned for my next video, which is gonna be my vlog from Bombay Beach and Slob City, which is gonna be really cool, and I highly recommend checking that out, and I highly recommend checking out Bombay and Slob City yourself, because it's a once in a lifetime experience, and it's amazing, and very eye-opening, and yes. I love you guys, have an amazing day, bye!